the title is not basically coming from how I feel it's based on what I read and saw on the internet a home cannot be wrecked if both parties who were in a relationship were happy then someone else cannot come and wreck that bond it takes two to tangle and wrong is wrong so I completely see where these comments and people are coming from so let's go ahead and get into the video What's up my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you from Vina Entertainment News. So Alicia Keys and um, her husband Switch Beats uh, celebrating seven years of marriage. Um, he posted years ago today magic was made. Um, the pray hand emoji. I can't believe time, time moves so fast when you're having fun and staying young with love. Heart emoji, two of, the, two of them, 100 plus more years to go. Uh, thank you, Alicia Keys, for seven years of love and support. Our kids are also very lucky to have you. So that's what he went ahead and he posted this beautiful collage, you know, of his wife. And that was a nice, you know, a nice little message. Then, you know, she went ahead and posted these coupled up pictures with her braids. You make me feel like a natural woman, um, you know, and then Kara King and love love universe and dean anniversary number seven is the hashtag and she posted these beautiful images and then also she posted an anniversary message at the real switch we've been married for seven years today and i'm like and she put all of these emojis so excited we are even more in love more full of potential and more excited about our future we look at each other with the wonder of a child and I'm in awe of us every day. I'm proud of the love we emanate and share with all we connect with and I can't wait for every day of the rest of our lives. Thank you for showing me what love freedom feels like. Here's to endless blessings, growth, communication and bliss. So um, you know this is the message. and. You have the happy comments, happy anniversaries, and, and things like that. But then you you have the one where people are not letting up. It doesn't matter if Alicia Keys and uh, Swiss Beats ex-wife Bashana, the one that he was married to, when he started messing with Alicia Keys, it doesn't matter if they're cool, if they've all gone on vacations together. If their children get along if they beg her to get off love and hip-hop new york and you know how so mashana was only on this show for i think one or uh, one not even two seasons and i guess they probably beg her listen whatever they're paying you we are going to double it let's just try to find a way to heal and let this go can you please get off the show or whatever Let's go ahead and get more into the comments that people were leaving on their page. And Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie might have been together for over 12 years, but eventually they broke up. So enjoy your seven years of marriage, but that karma will get you. Now, normally when I do these things, I take a screenshot of the comments and I add them to the video. I might do it I might not because it's just too much extra editing so I'm just reading reading the comments exactly off um, these social media pages where um, Alicia Keys and her husband are you know reposted so you have a comment like that um, you have a comment about side chick need love to, <laughs> side chicks need love to um, all the side chicks mad because you don't know how to elevate your situation like alicia like alicia did don't hate the player hate the game buzz up or you too will soon be a side chick all right so this is hilarious alicia the home wrecker she was his mistress first nobody can stand alicia keys anymore but you can't deny you can't deny her those classic hits that they're talking about um, her music. Damn, these comments are ruthless. I thought everybody liked Alicia Keys. I still can't believe people think she took Swiss from Bashana. I heard they were broken up when, when him and Alicia got together. I don't know and don't care. Wish them the best. You have that. And so many people praising her in these comments side chicks are really making come up now what kills me is she really has a song called karma <laughs> and people are saying her karma is going to get her no matter how long it takes 
and then another person and another blush underscore goes for you side chicks and home records like they are just going in on her i never knew she was a side chick but at the same time it's not cool for people to be bashing a couple that is in love it's their business let them continue to shine have people uh, side chick goes and i don't care who mad ink wasn't nowhere on the paper when she was gutted yes she was pregnant while this man was still married and um still going through his divorce so yeah <laughs> and it's a home wrecker <laughs> a home wrecker gets no love from me alicia keys doesn't seem like the home wrecker type she always been portrayed as innocent and sweet I don't want to believe this. Them home records are winning. Her and Adrian Bailon should be best friends. I think people are really confusing Adrian Bailon with the lady that her now husband Israel um, stepped out with when he was married. No, Israel have kids outside of his wife, but it was with someone completely different and that is not even adrian we all know adrian don't have no kids and so yeah he did not step out on his wife with with adrian bylon they met on a movie what does that mean love with a church girl or something Israel been separated from his wife for five years. He just kept people in the church or in on that scene knew what was going on. But he kept his private life private and didn't really speak on it. And um, five years of separation, he finally, because as a man of God, you know, divorce is frowned upon, you know. So he they were doing their best to work it out and to heal. And after five years, it was just like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug so it was almost like been separated for five years getting a divorce finalized and then boom here's adrian so people just made a connection and felt like she's the reason why but no they were not together and i know oh please don't come for me how do you know why are you defending adrian i'm just going off of what i know but all right let's go ahead and get back into the video and then finish it up her career record success story monday nights on e <laughs> Side chick success story. <laughs> yeah, he's whack too, but it was Keys who was always about uplifting women and being unapologetic in her feminism. I think people think that she played herself and is a hypocrite. With all that being said, I know that some of you, that's why we have the option to skip through videos, right? If the comments that I was reading got boring and you didn't care, you could just skip right through and come to my main message. And I posted it as a congratulations to Alicia Keys and, and Switz on seven years of marriage. I completely understand the way how, you know, they got together. You know, it's questionable, but I, you know, as long as they let go of all of the insecurities and what people are saying whatever and focus on each other and i wish them nothing but the best um you know sometimes the way we meet people in life is not always the way that we expect to meet them i am in no way shape or form supporting or making excuses for these two um you know yeah i got nothing to say about that but i just like to you know Go around social media, what are they talking about? Are they happy for Alicia Keys and Switz? It's not that Alicia Keys and Switz care, but is it, you know, happy congratulations, happy anniversary, or is it people are still holding on to, or hurt that they don't need to be holding on to because it's Alicia Switz and his ex-wife business. But anyways, that's what social media is about. You know, people get divorced, their opinion and whatever, but I did want to do this story about the anniversary and that you know people are still upset and not letting go and that's why this channel is very open and diverse if this story did not work for you and you feel like i mean this was a random story story why did you even do it there are people who's gonna watch it who's gonna like it if you don't like this story you know i have serious news from when the when the attack happened in london to you know different serious things that's going on if this is not you if the real housewife banana stories you know it's what you like go to the playlist it's 
is a very diverse channel and we have different news so if this one don't work for you just skip it and go to a different story but with that being said my being loves i'm wishing you all an amazing day and remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation and what i meant to say is and remember i was talking so fast trying to end the video and yeah i go again but have a good evening guys god bless bye bye